हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू द क्लास ऑन कंप्यूटर एडेड इंजीनियरिंग ड्राइंग सो इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न हाउ टू डू द ड्राइंग ऑन द सॉफ्टवेयर यूजिंग द सॉलिड एज वर्शन एटीन सो ये वी आर गोइंग टू यूज आई मीन द फर्स्ट प्रॉब्लम दैट वॉट वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व इज प्रोजेक्शन ऑफ प्लेन सर्फेसेस द प्रॉब्लम इज बिन गेम लाइक दिस एंड इक्वलैट्रल ट्राइंगुलर लामिना और ट्वेंटी फाइव एम एम साइड्स ऑफ लाइज विथ वन ऑफ इट्स एडजस्ट ऑन एच पी राइट such that the surface of the lamina is inclined to hp at 60 degree that on which it rests inclined to vp at 60 degree so the first data which is required for us to draw the initial position is what is the type of lamina it is a equilateral triangle lamina or 25 mm lies lies with one of its edges it is resting on one of its edges on the hp so i first i am going to construct a triangle so how to do it so i am going to take a line command so with a thickness of 0.5 mm so starting point of the line so click for the starting point of the line then what is the length of the line i mean uh, uh, triangle lamina of 25 mm sides so therefore the length of the line will be see i am going to enter 25 plus then what is the angle 0 enter so next once again the length of the line is 25 enter here the angle will be 120 degree enter then i am going to join to the end of this triangle okay so this is how i am going to construct the triangle is it clear <coughs> okay so next one i am going to use the move command so click on sorry i am going to choose the rotate command so click on the element to modify so this is the element to modify click for the center of rotation this is the center of rotation click for the click the point to rotate from so from where i am going to hold it like this so when it becomes this edge one of the edge become uh, 90 degree so then i am going to click so here is option so this must be in on off condition because i need to rotate the parent copy itself see how to why i am doing like this since it is resting on one of its edge so one of its edge must come to the right side so that's why i'm going to do like this then i'm going to then do the naming so this is a, a so b and this one is c so then i'm going to select the line command so thickness 0.13 draw the axis starting point of the line and ending point of the line okay so mention this as vp and this one as hp okay so next i am going to take a line command so thickness must be 0.13 why i am going to draw the projection from a to the x y line see you need to pick the point when it shows the end point symbol then only you need to click and start the vertical line upwards until it touches the x y line so this represents what a dash that is the front view a dash and this one b dash b dash in bracket c dash so this is a front view so therefore once again take the line command so thickness of the line must be 0.5 mm so from a dash to b dash see whenever it shows the end point symbol then only have to click so this is a initial thing initial position so and also show the dimension how much is this 25 mm so after this what is the second data that is required for us see inclination with respect to hp see the surface of the lamina is inclined to hp at 60 degree so therefore see it is resting on one of its edge which is a edge to the right side b dash and c dash you can take you can uh, draw the triangle in such a way that b dash and c dash can come to the left side so you can follow any notations okay so b dash and c dash is to the right side that edge i am going to consider as a resting edge so therefore i am going to use a command called move command so click on the element so this complete element i need to move so click for the point to move from so this is very important so you need to hold from the any one of the end point see i am going to hold this object from the b dash and c dash end point 
click on this then i need a another duplicate copy therefore this must be in on condition so you are going to move it at the required position so when the xy lines becomes red i am going to leave it <laughs> okay then right click to exit from the command so next i am going to choose a command called as rotate command okay so click on the element to modify so this is the element to modify click for the center of rotation see it is rota resting on b dash and c dash hence that is the center of rotation then click the point to rotate from and i am going to hold another end of the line that is a dash now i am going to rotate it see here i can tap the rotation angle is how much 60 degree enter and also the position angle is also see so upwards i need it to upwards so therefore you make the position of the cursor and click on it you are going to get a line <coughs> which is inclined at an angle of 60 degree so that is a inclination lamina with respect to hp then i am going to move this above so this is a b dash and c dash next you can use a command called as what angle between command to measure the angle of this inclined line with respect to x y line one second yes so this is going to show the 60 degree like this what next so next we have to draw the projections horizontal projections as well as vertical projections to draw the top view so i have selected the line command so thickness must be 0.13 so draw the projection from a dash and from here a dash horizontal and vertical projections like this then join to this in the same way i am going to draw the uh, vertical projection from b dash and c dash with the help of alignment indicator i can easily draw the <coughs> okay so this <coughs> In the same way, I am going to draw the horizontal projection from C until it touches the vertical projection or horizontal line. Okay. So this is what the I am going to take the text command. So this is A, this one is B, and this one is C. So with the help of line command of thickness zero point five mm, so draw the projection from A to sorry, join the line from A to B. then b to c then once again back to c to a okay so what is the next thing so uh, let me go to the problem the edge on which it rests is inclined to vp at 60 degree so which is a resting edge so it is resting on b and c that you can easily identify over here say b dash and c dash is on the xy line so that means it is resting on b and c okay okay so after drawing the inclination with respect to hp so now the next position is to draw the inclination with respect to vp the edge on which it rests is inclined to vp at 60 degree so this is the data which is required for us to draw the third position so let us go to the software so here which is the resting edge b and c is the resting edge so this is inclined at an angle of 60 degree so therefore first i am going to select the line command i am going to draw a line which is inclined at an angle of 60 degree so i am going to choose the angle between command so this is the click on the dimension so this is the origin and this is another element i need to measure so 60 degree okay so on this line i need to move this object so therefore i am going to select this object including the naming after this i am going to select the move command so click for the point to move from so i need to hold it from b or c why i need to fix these two corners on the 60 degree line so therefore i am going to hold it from the corner c when it shows the end point symbol then you need to click so i need a parent copy so this must be in on condition sorry duplicate copy therefore this must be in on condition 
so move this when it when this 60 degree line becomes red just leave it and right click you will exit from the command so even though i am out of the move command still the object is selected why because before selecting the move command i have selected the object okay so now i am going to choose the rotate command click for the center of rotation is the center of rotation c is the center of rotation click for so click the point rotate from i need to hold another corner that is a b that i need to fix see so this must be in off condition okay and i am going to rotate and when the 60 degree line becomes red i am going to leave it like this okay so this is the um, object which satisfy the third condition that is resting edge is inclined at an angle of 30 degree to vp then i am going to choose the line command and i am going to draw the projection so projection line must be of thickness how much 0 0.13 okay so i am going to uh, uh, starting from a select the line command okay so with the starting of a I'm going to from the end corner A. I'm going to draw the vertical projection to A dash like this vertical line. See, so this is a vertical line. Next, in the same way, I'm going to draw the projection from B dash until it touches the X Y line. Why X Y line? Because B dash and C dash is on the X Y line. Next, I'm going to draw the projection from C and C dash is also on X Y line. So this is how I am going to draw the projections. Then take a text command. So this is a corner A dash and this is a corner B dash and this is a corner C dash. Okay. See all the naming should come above the X Y line. So therefore I am going to move a little bit like this. Okay. So next I am going to take a line command. So thickness must be 0 0.5. So here I'm going to draw the line from A dash to C dash, C dash to B dash and back to B dash to A dash. Okay. So this is the final print view. This is the final top view which satisfies all the conditions. What are the conditions? It is resting on one of its edge. So here which is the resting edge? B and C is the resting edge. This is inclined an angle of 60 degree to HV. See 60 degree to HV. And this one is the resting edge this inclined an angle of 60 degree to VP. Right. So this is how we are going to draw the projections. I hope you understood. Thank you. Namaste.